hi everybody welcome to another episode of positive parenting with astrology i am your host and resident gemini maria rieger and i have a real treat for you today because a lot of what i try to give you guys is i try my best to give you actionable content things you can do right away start doing right away to help build connections with your kids for stronger relationships and overall peaceful households and i have somebody here who can help you do just that Sharon Miller, who has a company, JoyWorks. Sharon uh, does laughter therapy and laughter yoga services. So specifically, she's going to talk to you about how to use laughter and positive moments to create these stronger connections with our, your kids to have overall, you know, more peace at home and generally happier relationships with your kids and happier households. So Sharon, thank you very much for joining us today. Really appreciate you being here. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure and a privilege. I am so excited. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, Sharon hails from Glasgow, Scotland, and yes. um, has done a lot of corporate events and stuff like that, and also has worked directly with parents and with children. So Sharon, my first question to you is, I'm, yeah. first of all, I'm fascinated to know how you got involved doing laughter therapy, kind of what led you there. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also interested in hearing about the services that you provide for parents and kids. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So I am delighted to tell you that I was in a pretty bad state when I found laughter therapy, actually. I, my background is in theatre and drama, and I uh, was actually working at the time with uh, prisoners, segregated prisoners, wow. doing a performance in 12 days, you know, for the for the rest of the prison and for their guests. So uh, just a wee, you know, project. <laughs> I used to do that regularly. And uh, yeah, and my personal, you know, I think as, you know, coming from a creative background, full disclaimer, I am not a parent. However, I was a primary school teacher, so I can completely, <laughs> I can completely relate to the whole um, adult-child relationship. And um and it was really interesting what happened to me. I was uh, in the theatre. I got very much involved in theatre and the arts and using um, theatre and the creative arts as a tool because I could see when I was a teacher how much children who were finding things difficult, just the school system, the education system just did not fit. And it was those wee souls, you know, who couldn't sit in their seat and couldn't concentrate and who were always like the life and soul in the playground, but were shut down in the classroom. They were just, you know, what I live for at the end of the day. I would create lots of drama opportunities after school and put on lots of productions and stuff. So I moved away from teaching and worked much more uh, creatively with young people at risk and, um, you know, vulnerable young people. And that's what took me to a work in prisons. However, working in the theatre and the arts, you know, a lot of us working in the theatre arts are you know, not, we don't fit in a kind of box kind of thing. And um, our mental health can go unnoticed because, oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's part of the shebang, right? And it was when I was delivering these events in prisons, um, my grandpa died mm. and he was my beautiful, you know, hero. And uh, this group that I worked with called um, Senior Citizen, a Senior Citizens Group, they phoned me and said, we've got more funding. What would you what would you like to do this time? I'd put a show on with them. I worked with lots of different community groups and uh, you know adults with addiction. You know, you name it. Anybody who wanted me, I worked with them. <laughs> and this group said, you know, we've got extra funding. What can you do this time? And I said, oh, what would you like? What would you like? And they said, you know what, we could really do with a laugh. And I thought, gosh. I could really do with a laugh too. And I went to that session with my box of tricks and they were all round this one wee lady because this one wee lady's husband had just died, right? It was a carers group. And I literally, when I asked what happened, I literally wanted to take my box and just go back to the car because I thought, what can I do? What can I do? Her husband's just died, you know? 
Anyway, I took myself to the toilet and gave myself a good talk, as we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I took myself back out to that event. And I can't tell you, it was such an incredible event. I was high as a kite after it. So were they. And it was just, you know, in those prison projects, I took 12, it took me 12 days to get those, you know, everybody in a high. But I was fascinated by how quickly, you know, laughter is like a glue, how quickly that worked for us. It was only an hour event, you know. And I got in the car and I was driving home and I heard someone talk about laughter therapy. And I thought, gosh, because my background was theatre in right. the drama. I thought, oh, that's just what I did. And I loved <laughs> it. I absolutely loved it. And Joyworks was born, right? Joyworks right. was born. But here is the thing. The interesting thing is when I started delivering them as an event in Glasgow once a week, I actually was involved in a house fire two weeks mm. before it. And I was staying with my sister. And this is the beauty of laughter therapy, right? Uh, because the first experience, it was about the difference in them. And yeah, the difference in me. It was, am amaz it was amazing. However, this time, I, was, I, I, could, I couldn't have thanked you for the laughter workshop. You know, I was in, had been involved in a fire. I was staying with my sister and I, I had been in hospital with carbon, carbon monoxide poisoning. The last thing I wanted to do was laugh. And my sister said, no, you've had you let the publicity out. Just do it. And she called all her friends and I called all of my friends. And what an amazing, incredible night we had. I actually wanted to give, everybody paid a £10 note. And I had oh, this wow. big, you know, and I just wanted to give them all back their money because yeah. they had given me, what an enormous gift. They didn't realise, most of them didn't realise what had just happened to me. And so early, very, very or early on, I saw the impact it could have so quickly, mm -hmm. no matter what you're going through, whether you've had a house fire, whether someone has just died, joy is a decision, a really brave decision on how we're going to live our lives, right? So yeah. that's kind of how I got started. And here we are, wow. 15, 15 years on, 15 yeah. years on, celebrated 15th anniversary in March there, fifth um, uh, International Women's Day. And I can honestly say it's been the biggest blessing in my life. You know, the opportunities I've had to go, you know, to Vienna and deliver keynote wow. speeches and, and go to the Scottish Parliament and the Cabinet Office in London and all of, and meet these incredible people, you know, uh, and, and hear such life-changing testimonials is just phenomenal. Um, but regards like the parents and the children thing, I love to do events with um, when it's intergenerational, you know, right. because that, the, the, the beauty in that is, you know, when I was a wee kid, I used to go to Sunday school to the church and I loved that and I look back and I think the reason I loved that was because we were all there different ages together you know and how often just now in our communities do we have that opportunity to all be unless it's a family wedding or you know something like that to all be together just for fun just for because laughter is a spiritual thing too, mm -hmm. right? Isn't it? Being being in joy is a very how many times is joy mentioned in the Bible? You know, it's a very spiritual thing. So being together just for joy and just for playfulness is just incredible because par parents get to see their their naughty kids, naughty and in inverted commas, who are who they've been climbing the walls about just seeing them being really playful and fun and, and 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 joyful and they get to be playful and joyful they get to not be the serious one that's always discipline in them you know the, the the kids are no longer seeing their parents as disciplinarians but oh my god you're a real person too it was like when I was a teacher and I saw a child outside you know they would be so surprised to see me in a supermarket you know they think that teachers live in cupboards right <laughs> right what are you doing here i have to buy food too <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> teachers don't have a real life, right? <laughs> and it's the same with parents, you know? It's like, oh my gosh, you can have fun too. Oh, you yeah. Can be funny too. yeah. You can be too. You can act the goat too. You're just like me. You're just like me. You can change when we're having fun. You can change when we're playing. You become a different person, just like me when I'm at school with my friends, you know? And that creates such a glue, uh, such a positive experience, it increases the positive emotions. And that obviously, and to, uh, you know, helps counteract the negative emotions, but we'll go into that later. It really improves co communication because when you are laughing, then you're more open and receptive to having those tricky conversations afterwards, aren't mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. You're much more open and receptive. And you're more relaxed. It relaxes you're you. More and relaxed. you're more like, that makes you more receptive to hearing the other yeah. person. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And then you're going to have much more open open heart conversations aren't you because right. laughter is such a good communication tool and it enhances empathy as well right because you can then see as we just talked about like oh we're, we're the whole we're the whole person here we're allowed to have all of these emotions right it's not that anger is a bad thing and joy is a good thing we're allowed to have all of these kind of emotions and that's right. great for problem solving as oh, well yeah. and it gives you know we create much we create closeness closeness and understanding with this empathy that we get with laughter it builds trust it is a brilliant you know it's brilliant for building trust and it creates that sense of safety and security and more opportunities for sense and um, for safety and security with your we one as we like to say in scotland your we one the more safe and secure situations we have like that right. the better yeah. and and playfulness because and also the great thing for parents is when you have more playfulness and joy and um, using laughter therapy, then it improves your confidence and self-esteem mm -hmm. so that you will then maybe go off and do more joy, fill your own joy cup up because the more right. you fill your joy cup up with doing creative, lovely, juicy things, then a uh, better all-rounded parent you will be too, right? right. And I, I, I love, you know, that whole just seeing how what's really really going on right um with, with, with a child i'm really well we'll talk about that in a wee minute when we talk about using laughter to, 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 to diffuse oh, yeah. um negative situations but yeah it's a bit it's a bit it's about being 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 real and i love to laugh i love to have fun too and i'm not just going to do it with my pals with a glass of wine on a saturday night when you're in bed i'm going to do it with you right because you're my life right and yeah. i'm going to make time to do yeah. it with you yeah <laughs> yeah that's i mean you got you brought up so many good points right now so the laughter is like contagious too it's like when you yes. start sometimes i've had those bouts where i start laughing about something i can't stop and all of a sudden everyone in the household is laughing and they don't know what i'm laughing about but it's just and it doesn't, yeah and it doesn't matter what you're laughing yeah, about right <laughs> right and that's and it's you know and i talk about all this on this channel all the time how we have to feel our feelings and let your kids feel the negative feelings yes. don't encourage them to repress them but this yes. is a great message that also let them feel the good feelings too you know, yes. there are a lot of us, a lot of the parents on this channel that came from places of childhood trauma where they were not yes. allowed to be in a good mood. They were not allowed to be happy. They feel yes. guilty for being in a good mood. And I, you know, that's yes. obviously not a healthy thing to be teaching your kids. So I'm yes. glad you mentioned that, that it's okay to have a good time and laugh in the face of crisis, even, even yeah. ca catastrophic stuff. And mm -hmm. you also bring up a good point that there's always something to be grateful for. And you could yeah. always have a positive outlook. It doesn't mean you have to stuff bad feelings down, but you can no. always have a positive, positive outlook. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter the adversity, like you said. So great messages yeah. all around. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's such a good point that you said, Maria, because actually by using laughter and joy, we are, we are allowing those other feelings to come up because right. of the trust that's been built because of having the laugh and joy experience, because of that trust and that empathy and right. that self-compassion for one another, then there's more opportunity to really express these difficult emotions that your kids might be having, but they've been frightened to say to you. 
right. what we're trying to talk about, right? Right. right. And, um, you know, because la the science of laughter is absolutely, you know, science that scientists have been, you know, um, reception laughter mm -hmm. for the last 30 years and and I uh, you, you know it's a it's a, it's a no-brainer you know because when we're laughing it actually um activates different areas of the brain and so there's a release of all these positive chemicals when we laugh you know our endorphins the happy dolphins as I like to call them dopamine serotonin all of these beautiful chemicals for happiness and well-being and because we're laughing then stress Mm -hmm. um, you know, the lowering of cortisol happens. Um, we're balancing for adults when we're laughing, we're actually balancing the hormonal system, which is important for a lot of women yep. out there when we're <laughs> laughing. Uh, we're oxygenating all of the cells in our body and most diseases are caused by deoxygenation right. de -oxygenation of the cells. So we're really oxygenating all of those cells as well. We are actually getting 25% more oxygen to the brain, which wow. means when we uh, finish a wee laughter or joy session with our with with our wee ones, then we are more focused. We're we're we're, we're more focused. We're more clear and we're more productive about what we're doing next. That's why it's so great for laughter in business. But then that is another that is another talk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And just when you were saying about when you laugh, you know, um, you know, your family don't. One of my beautiful memories, my, we um, lost my mum when we were only, I was only nine. And one of my best memories, so I don't really have much memory of her, but one of my best memories is doing head, you know, that head, shoulders, yeah, knees and toes. And toes yeah. Yeah, doing it around the living room. That is Aww. one. And we were just jumping on the Aww. couches and we were, yeah. you know, jumping in the couches and we were all over the furniture and jumping in the bed doing this head, shoulders, knees and toes. And so when we do our wee mini session, which is what you've got to look forward to at the end of this talk. Um, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, you know, that that's one of the lovely ones that I use, but using laughter. So anytime we, um, anytime we get to the heads, Instead of the heads, we'll do the laughter instead. So you're getting the laughter and the playfulness in the game. But yeah, we, we never underestimate the beautiful memories that our children will have as adults. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we've taken time to have fun. Because my right. mother actually was, suffered from depression. You know, a lot of my memories of my mum are lying right. on the couch. So these beautiful memories of, you know, actually taking time to be playful. They right. stay with us forever. The right. stay with us forever. And kids remember when they love to make their parents laugh. Yeah. And they yes. remember that and they love having, you know, it makes because it makes them feel good that they're yes. not that they're controlling something, but that they're having an effect on the parents' mood. And again, kids are not responsible for parents' emotions, I always say, but they're they're being able to kind of please the parent because kids are naturally, naturally want to please the parents. So yes. in a sense, they're pleasing the parent, they're making the parent laugh they see the parent relax all the things you just said and they love having these private inside jokes with the parents yes, too. Yes. it makes them feel special it's a yes. bonding thing where they have this yes. private inside joke just with this one other person so these yes. are all ways where you're over time building up the connections you know and the positive yes. moments and one thing i read interestingly about the science behind you know emotions and, and laughter even if, you know, you're not laughing at the moment, if you just put a smile on your face, it's kind of like the body and the, the chemicals kind of follow that, right? And That's you right. actually you actually can be, I want to ask you about that, you actually kind of can, it can lead to like laughter or a good feeling and just the act of like physically smiling. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it takes, a, 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 there's a brilliant, ad, I don't know whether your your watchers are into mindfulness, mindfulness, mm -hmm. um, but that's another brilliant joy. And we use a lot of um, mindfulness in our, in our projects. Um, but the um, Thich Nhat Hanh, the grandfather of mindfulness, he says sometimes our joy is a source of our smile, but sometimes our smile is a source of our joy. That's right. You know, it starts with a smile. It starts with a smile and then, you know, and, right. and then laughter can happen. And a very important point that you brought up because maybe some of your parents out there just do not feel, oh my gosh, no, I'm so stressed. I've got a list as long as 
mm-hmm. uh, you know, as long as my arm, I just don't feel it laughing at all. But once, even if you start pretending, you smile, you start smiling, you start pretending to laugh, our brain doesn't know the difference between real and imagined. So all of those amazing benefits that we talked about earlier, actually, this is fascinating. We are still receiving them, right? We're still receiving these uh, physiological benefits as well as the psychological benefits just by pretending to begin with, right? Exactly. That's all great stuff. And the, you know, when you mentioned the mindfulness, and like you said, when you're just having a good laugh, you are very much like with meditation, you're in the moment. You're not thinking yes, about the past exactly. or the future. You're in the exactly. moment just having a good exactly. laugh. And that's exactly. you know as beneficial as meditation, right? It's yes. just that in that yes. moment, you're not, you know, like you said, thinking about everything else you have to do or why you were stressed yes. half an hour ago. And that's one of the things that's so great about it as a therapeutic yeah. tool, right? Yeah. So to to you know incorporate that. Um, yeah. so yeah, and you mentioned, and I want to, I want to make sure we talk about this kind of using the laughter to diffuse tension yes. with parents with their kids, but also like so many of us have, you know, our own triggers, the parents have their own triggers from childhood and we overreact yeah. with our kids. That's one of the, you know, that's one of the biggest obstacles mm. a lot of, a lot of the parents have They yeah. overreact yeah. to their, their kids aren't necessarily doing anything, you know, wrong. It's just that they have big emotions or whatnot. And the parents, because of the conditioning they received as kids overreact or, you know, get yes. stressed or yell. And we can actually use laughter to diffuse those triggers yes. right, and tension. Absolutely. And it's that whole thing about the, the, the thing that's happening is about them. It's not about us, mm-hmm. but we feel it's about us and we're the bad person because it's a trigger and that's all it is, is a trigger. And so there's plenty of, plenty of wonderful things that we can do. We can fo- poke fun at ourselves. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, the more you laugh and the more you have joyful experiences, the more likely you are to poke fun at, our, you right. know, at ourselves. Like, oh, look at me, I'm going off in one again. And, you know be real about it look at me right. oh my gosh my hands are in the air oh no the fingers <laughs> out the naughty fingers out oh my look at me oh my right. oh I'm sweating now right. actually just poking fun at ourselves you know lighting ourselves lighting ourselves up using funny voices oh my gosh you know I'm gonna move back here uh, right. put, you know use a funny voice make silly faces you know uh, start singing one, maybe one of the kids favorite songs right. put some music on all of these pattern interrupts mm-hmm. are really uh, really important telling a joke mm-hmm. asking them go to tell me a joke tell me a joke here uh, and I know like what you said I'm just thinking here I know what you said about you know not making a child responsible for right. your emotions right right so maybe, maybe I don't know whether you think about some of those suggestions, but I I do think actually it's it's about um it's about making fun of ourselves rather than asking the the child to help you regulate your emotions. You're actually choosing you're choosing for the child to play your game. It's a game. Here's right. me poking fun at myself. Here's me lighting myself up. Here's me putting my song on to, right. to diffuse the situation. Here's me putting the music on to diffuse this situation. Here's me playing a silly game, head, shoulders, right. knees, toes, so that we can come into a joyful reunion again, right? right? Exactly. Yeah. Like, I love so, that idea. I didn't even think of that as a pattern interrupt. Like, oh man, you know, we could both, both use a good laugh right now. You tell me a joke yeah. and I'll tell you a joke. And that's yes. like, not like your responsibility is to make me happy right now. You don't exactly. want to send that message, but let's have a good Definitely laugh together. Not. It's a very different message, right? Yes, so let's my- have together. Let's choose joy together. Right. Joy and right. playfulness and fun is going to be really good for you. And it's going to be really right. good for me. Yeah, exactly. We're going to mirror these beautiful mirror neurons, you know, uh, with, with joy and fun, you know, even if you're in the kitchen, just picking up three different, um, you know, like a sieve, a cup, a, 
a clock from the wall or something say hey let's make a story you know right. using props you just moving the That's props in the yeah. in the kitchen let's make a story right one day there was a clock da 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 you know right. uh, you know stuff like that stuff like that and having a wee list of them on our phones a really mm-hmm. good idea um so that you know because we never remember the things you mm-hmm. know We'll practice, like joy is a practice, right? Mm -hmm. Joy is a practice. So having, uh, you know, having wee reminders round about the house of things that can pattern interrupt are a really good idea. I remember when I was a teacher, when um, when kids were were going off in one, I would I would actually just mirror what they were doing, but I would do it in a funny way. So like they would have their hands in the air or they would start st- stepping, stamping, you know, the the, the, the feet. And I would yeah. just, just mirror it without saying anything. Yeah. I would just mirror it. And they would start laughing or a smile would come because they, they didn't expect me to do that as well. So it's not making fun, but it's just like, hey, I'm coming in with you with that. Yeah, exactly. And it'd be funny. Like people, <laughs> people pay attention to the unexpected. It's one of the things you yes. do study human psychology right so what it's yeah. something unexpected like you expect an adult a kid in that situation a young kid expects an adult to kind of yell and be mad oh you're acting out yes. blah 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 they don't expect yes. you to laugh and you know mimic their yes. gestures that's that's and, yeah, yeah that's and really be silly good and stuff. be silly yeah yeah. yeah. And and fascinating is that, you know, uh, Dr. Robert Provine's research mm-hmm. on laughter, he's a pioneer in laughter research, and he discovered that actually the laughter that happens between us, it, it doesn't actually come from humor or jokes. Where do you think it comes from? It doesn't come from jokes, you said? No, it doesn't. It doesn't come from humor or jokes. I don't know. It comes from the wee things that we experience together. That's where yeah. the laughter comes. It comes yeah. from the wee things that we experience yeah. together. Oh my um, so I'm going to teach you a tool that we'll do in the wee mini oh, experience, yeah. which is a tool I like the, the laughter therapy for, for bonding our relationships together um, so that we can have more laughter with all of these wee things that are going on. Because what has research shows that actually we laugh 30% more as we enjoy each other's company. So these are tools to help us enjoy each other's company more that, you know, then, you know, pass into um, our normal everyday wee situations, you know? Oh, yeah. 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 um, My son and I, when he was younger, he's a teenager now, when he was younger, we used to play this game before bed because bedtime was always kind of like a, kind of a weird time where the kids are tired but they don't want to sleep and then sometimes like nighttime they start to over at least my son does because that's what we do with my family is we overthink right and so yeah. we play this game called uh when he was younger called the you know do not laugh challenge so we would essentially try to get the that. other person to laugh and I said you can't laugh you can't laugh and of course when you tell a kid you can't do this they're gonna do it so I mean, I love <laughs> So we would play the so good. Do not laugh challenge. And of course we would <laughs> laugh. I would laugh in like five or 10 seconds and he would usually be able to withstand longer, but we would have to think about routines and things to say to get each other to laugh. That was really funny. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, if he's kind of in a bad mood, I'll try to do something to laugh and I can see him. He'll say like, mom, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to laugh. And he's like suppressing a smile. Stop <laughs> yeah. trying to get me to laugh, mom. Stop trying to get me in a good mood, mom. <laughs> but it's funny. I love that. But it, it does, so even simple. that diffuses the yeah. negative emotions a little bit, yeah. at least a little bit. So it's yeah. so funny. Um, But like everything you say, it, it makes perfect sense. And yeah. yeah, no, I love that. Like, don't laugh. I yeah. used to say, uh, I used to say, Say sausages three times without laughing. <laughs> with my yeah, kids, good. you know, if they were, uh, you know, when I were, yeah. were you kids that I was working with, like in the drama field or whatever, if they were doing something, say sausages three times without laughing, like just a random name. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's just funny. these silly games are oh brilliant. Uh, lovely wee prompt questions as well are, are great. I've been yeah. using the chat ATG 
Um, the oh, yeah. We were yeah. talking about that earlier. Yeah. And I love I, I love asking the chatty to G, give me a funny question on this or give me a funny question on oh, that. That's great. And it's amazing what it comes up with. The, these wee prompts to just, right. like, right. it's this pattern interrupt thing right. again. Right. To, right. When something's happening, just ask a funny wee question, you know, is, is right. really good as well. That's Excellent. Good. Yeah, I that's, love that's it. really good. Even like, yeah, the jokes doesn't have to, I mean, jokes don't even have to be good jokes. The what you use with kids, like bad jokes, like grown worthy jokes, <laughs> still elicit a smile. Like I'll, I'll tell, yeah. I'll tell my, my kid, my kid, my husband, like, you know, oh, I have a joke for you. And it's a terrible dad joke. And they're just like, oh, it's terrible. But they're, they're smiling, right? So even that can elicit that response. So it's good. Yeah. You, don't have, you don't have to be a good comedian or tell a a really like well-crafted yeah. joke it just has to be yeah. something like you said unexpected so yeah, yeah and sure. actually that that's how I start all of my events whether it's a corporate event that's or right. whether you know whatever it is in the world I start with an, a joke because straight away you know that's how people usually laugh is with jokes they think right this is how we laugh and straight away people can see like tell me a joke just now Maria Oh my God. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. You look at me on the <laughs> I, had, I had a really good one. I forgot. I, I have to think about it. I have to think about it. Uh, oh, when does a joke become a dad joke? Oh, that's good. I don't know. When does a joke become a dad joke? <laughs> when it becomes a parent. <laughs> so dumb. I, I so told you. <laughs> So dumb. It's so funny. <laughs> it's like it's like the king of all dad jokes. <laughs> <Her jokes. laughs> so let's give it a very yes. good, very good yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good, very good, yeah. <laughs> doesn't that feel great to stretch yes. up? Yes, it appreciation does. And it feels really good. And good. And there's another brilliant, it's part of laughter yoga, pattern interrupt thing, you know? Okay. Very good, very, very good, good, yeah! Or we could go, very good, very, very good, good, yeah! Yay. Oh, I like that. So your wee one is doing something really amazing, and you just go, very, very, very good, very good, and they know it because you've been doing it so long right. with them. Right. Very good, be and they come in and you both together, very good, very good, yeah! Or you go, very good, very good, hug! Very good, very good. We hands to the face. Oh, <laughs> so good, isn't it? I love that. Right. Well, we uh, we laughed quite a wee bit there at your bad yeah. joke because the bad jokes are really, really good. But it's a really opportunity to see. You know, we've all got a different sense of humour, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, and the jokes they just you know they only last like a few seconds or whatever. But if we want the real beautiful benefits of laughter therapy, then we need to laugh for a lot longer, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, the uh, more you do it, the more you will do it. If you when you get in the habit of laughing or doing the pattern interrupts like you said like using these techniques that you talked about to diffuse the situation the more you yes. do it the more natural it becomes and then yes. you'll find yourself that you now you're replacing the bad you know the negative conditioning and now you're able to do it more often so it's really a, a just a, a thing of like over time doing yes. it more and more remembering to do it at first and then eventually you'll do it yes. as second nature right yeah so yeah so having those wee props about the house or props about um, not props right um, um post-it notes about the house Reminders. to remind you to begin right. with are, right. are, are, are really really are having it on the phones a really really brilliant um thing to do yeah so we can see you know the the, the jokes have their place but they uh they, they, they're not going to get the laughter going for, for a lot longer, not unless you've got a big long list of jokes that everybody likes, right? Everybody right. likes different comedians and stuff. Oh, and right. that's what Dr. Kataria, Dr. Kataria was the founder of Laughter Yoga. Now, my background's in theatre and drama, so we did a lot of kind of laughter therapy within the drama context, yeah. but it was more for, you know, to make you a better actor. Right, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> to be a better actor to release and all of that. Right, right. Um, but Dr. Madden Katara, he um like us, right? He just started telling jokes in the park in India because he was writing a paper on laughter is the best medicine, and he went into the park, started telling these jokes, and before you knew it there was 50 people in the park. They were having a great time in the park in India. And um, 
But the end of the week, they all started arguing. Oh, these jokes are racist. These jokes are sexist. These jokes, it's the same person telling these jokes, you know. Jokes are very subjective. So he sure, quickly sure. came up with this idea, you know. He loved, he went back to his house and he loved the idea that, you know, and his wife was a yoga teacher. Oh. And he was into amateur dramatics, which I think is why he found it, because we do do a lot of, a uh, laughter therapy, as I say, within um, the drama. But he thought, oh, right, this is amazing. Even if we're pretending to laugh, we're still getting all of these benefits. So he went into the park and he started developing these kind of laughter exercises, some that we'll do uh, with you just now. And um, that's the rest is history. That was in two, that was in 1995. Oh, and wow. now there's laughter clubs all over the world. And uh, Joyworks was the first in Scotland. And, uh, it, you know, it's phenomenal. John Cleese, Julia Roberts, all big fans. And there is a huge body of research to, to, to back up yeah. it now yeah. as well. So, uh, so uh, it's, uh, it's Cleese, a phenomenal. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, on you go, but John Cleese. No, I, John I, Cleese were my favorite actors. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm a huge Monty Python fan, so. Yeah. <laughs> So oh, I loved I him. Too. I loved him. And A Fish Called Wanda was one of my all, I saw it when I was like a teenager. <laughs> it's one of my all time favorite movies. I love John Cleese. I love Kevin Kline. They're hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, that's amazing. That is really And incredible. he suffered from depression and anxiety. Yeah. And then that's how he found it. He went off yeah. to India and he found it. Oprah Winfrey is a big fan of it as well. Oh, so nice. And nice. Um, well, what, what we do in Joyworks, I haven't really talked about my programs, but maybe I will at the end. But sure. what we do in Joyworks is, is use laughter therapy with with games and mindfulness and meditation and visualization and confidence um, tools um, and uh, playfulness and just a lot. We, it's a really beautiful. The programs that we offer um, are very much the idea of kind of playfulness and using joy as a catalyst for change. Using right. joy as a catalyst for change in our relationships, our relationships with ourselves, our relationships with our colleagues. And today we're talking about with our relationships with our children, right? So um, so will, will, we, will we go, will we go, will we, will we do some? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you ready to do some? Yeah, yeah, okay. why don't we? Yeah, right. so we're gonna do, uh, Sharon's gonna do like a mini session with us and your pick, you can do whatever you like. I did a mini session with you uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it was fantastic. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> when you yeah. are ready, when you're ready. Brilliant. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. So you had, you had just said, you know, I think in earlier you said about overthinking. We're all very guilty of overthinking, aren't we? And uh, laughter therapy is so good because it gets us out of our head and into our heart, right? There's right. no overthinking in our right. heart, right? right? So let's, instead of getting our, because um, the biggest thing that robs our happiness is what it is thinking, right? right? So let's, instead of getting our mental floss out, okay. uh, sorry, our tooth floss. Tooth floss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, instead of getting our tooth floss out, well, let's get a bit of mental floss okay, from here to here, right? Okay. Uh, all those shoulds, those woulds, those coulds, those that. Let's get the mental force and just laugh. Here we go. I'm flossing, I'm flossing. <laughs> mental floss out right let's right. get our mental it. floss out let's let's do some mental floss and see how better we feel afterwards right exactly and uh, also what we can do is a wee joy shock so just get your fingers okay. like this okay and just with your child you would just touch your fingers together like this so our fingertips we go fingertip let, let bring your hands up a wee bit so okay. you can see them to me or if you Here bring yourself up <laughs> we, we can't match it but you get the idea yeah you match your fingertips to your child's fingertips right? right and you do a wee joy shock so you oh. bring them back and forward like that right 
a wee joy nice. shock, right? Nice. Right? And as you do it, you laugh. So here, so someone's feeling really glum in the house. Maybe it's the dad that's feeling very glum in the house. Maybe it's a bad day at work, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's just give right. him a wee joy shock here. Right. Ready, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> So we say doing, we can, but okay. yeah, go, 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 ha, 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 So you can do, you can use the ha, ha, just into the ear, or you could do okay. it with kids. Oh, I got you, I got you. You know, you know. Yeah. That's great. And that's really good because that mirrors diaphragmatic breathing, which right. helps to meet all of the cells. Oh, I can feel it. I, you can feel yeah. as you do that, getting more air, right? And yeah. you can feel the diaphragm like contracting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's actually one of the most important exercises because, it, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it, it, it is diaphragmatic breathing. And also it's good because maybe just going straight to laughing for no reason is not, you know, the first Thing that you would want them to do right. and right. you can really play with the clapping as well right excellent and then your your, your child's doing something very naughty uh -huh. so instead of giving them into trouble or instead of right. throwing your hands in the air you right. just get your naughty right. finger oh <laughs> <laughs> and make the laughter sounds <laughs> <laughs> on the shoulder turns the volume up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> moment which might right. be a hug right? right and a wee hug laughing like let's laugh and hug at the same time <laughs> or just a wee hug or i need a wee drink or whatever they need right so say right like, you can ask me for anything now mm -hmm. right what is it you need um i need a uh, sunshine i need a new room where i can play i need this i need that keep going keep going tell me everything that you really need right and then just put all of the ingredients in a uh, a wee, uh, a wee joy, joy drink, right? Oh, so, I love uh, that. A wee joy drink, Aww. right? A wee yeah. joy drink. So let's just put them all in. So we're putting right. that in, we're putting right. that in, we're putting that in, we're putting that in. We're all putting it in with a ho-ho-ho. We're going to shake it up, with shake up our joy drink with a ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. This is a Joy Works favourite. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> and then we drink it 
was a he 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 he, and then we throw it over everybody, right? Oh, and the that. same way, the parent can say, you know, you as parents can say, do you know what I really need at the moment? Can I tell you what I really need at the moment? Here's what I need at the moment. Do you know what I mean? It's a right. great way, right. a great way for people in the family to share what they need without doing the big. <gasps> right, right, exactly. <laughs> so here we go, ready and okay. oh, open the ingredients. Oh, all the ingredients for a joy day. Oh, 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 Oxytocin yeah. is the kind of yeah. people need hugs, and it's like you gotta remember yeah. that you know that contact, you contact with your loved ones, yeah. right? And even if your wee one is not in the mood for a hug with you, right? right. Come on, give yourself a wee hug. You exactly. Know, teach teach exactly. yourself soothing. It's very self soothing. Yeah. So important. Yeah. And um, right. and I love you know especially when I'm working with with parents and kids or or or, or, or parents who have ill you know ill you know, illnesses right. is to, to use, to pepper the laughter through right. so much hugging and touching right. and right. stroking. Right. Right. There's a brilliant technique called the havening technique, actually. Uh -huh. I don't know whether you've come across no. that. It's a very powerful um, technique all about touch, but really basically it's right. just the power right. of touch, right? And, you know, putting our hands to our heart, you know, let's have a wee, let's have, um, let's, Tell me all the things that you had fun today yeah. at school. Tell me all the fun things you had. Oh, right. Let's catch them. Let's right. catch all of those wee joy things, all of those joyful things that you've done. We're going to catch them with a ho, ho, ho. Then let's put them into our heart, right? With a ha, 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 ha. Right, so let's just do it together because okay. actually touching our hearts. If if you study um, mindfulness at all, you'll know the, yes. the power of just putting our hands yes. to our hearts. Yeah. Any of the heart mass stuff is just fascinating at what mm -hmm. that does. So mm -hmm. put our hands to our heart. So that's a really nice way to to get the laughter in. So oh oh oh, 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 oh. I had a laugh with Johnny. I had oh 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 put it into her. <laughs> 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 oh, we're saving it for we're saving it for a rainy day. Oh, yeah, Let's put it in our pocket. Oh, give it a wee kiss. Save it for a rainy day. <laughs> Lovely. That's oh, great. Oh, yeah. This so, so in um. Oh, thank you, Sharon. That was wonderful. Yeah, that was really really good. No, it's like like you like you say you feel the extra oxygen come in and you yeah. feel your body loosen up and you feel your muscles be a little less tense. And these, you know, movements are very self-soothing, right? Yes. This is a good one um, for like, yes. uh, you know, well, it's a heart opener, but also like, you know, you it's a, it's a confidence booster, right? This is a confidence yes. booster and it's a heart opener. And then this is self-soothing. And in yoga, we do yes. these movements yes. for the legs yes. and the yoga practice. Yes. And that's, that's right. very similar, right? So I'm a yogi I, too. Right. Uh -huh. So this Absolutely. all, yeah, you can definitely so. see how the laughter, it's not just about the act of laughing. It has all these other benefits, the mindfulness, the health benefits, you know, yes. like you said, it you know, reduces the cortisol that promotes healthy weight, right? Weight loss yes. or healthy weight, all these things. Yes. So yes. that was really good. That was really good. Yeah. And it's, it's, yes. it's freeing too, right? So yeah. parents and, and kids uh, do that together. 
Yeah, yeah, so freeing, so much yeah. fun. And and it will feel a wee bit uncomfortable to begin with. Of course it will. Yeah. It'll feel a bit uncomfortable and a wee bit strange, but play with it. Just keep right. going with right. it. Right. Right. The more fun that you have with it, you know, even I would encourage parents to to be playful on their own with it. Are you right. coming attend? Come and attend. Right. You know, book me, attend the session, and we've got three sessions that happen. I, I wanted just to say that word huge, yes. though. The Sanskrit yeah. word for yoga is huge. Um, okay. Y U J. Okay. And you and and huge means integrate and harmonize. Oh, okay. Integrate okay. and harmonizing okay. and, and and laughter like you know it's a a physiological thing and it's a psychological thing. Laughter the same as right. you know the real yoga and then right. you know I, right. I I love real real yoga too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Sure. So uh, I, I really, I'd love to hear Maria how your 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 viewers get on. Uh, For sure. As well. Yeah, I'd love I, to hear. Yeah, definitely. These are like you've given us a lot of information that we can use right away, put into practice, right? And yeah. um, and if you know, if you, like you said, if people parents don't feel a hundred percent comfortable, or if they don't get the reaction that they're expecting from their kids right away, stick with it. You know, sometimes. Yeah. You know, kids, especially adolescents and teens, will not say, hey, I appreciate this. They won't say, hey, I appreciate this extra attention you're giving me, or I appreciate your effort. They won't say that. But eventually, you'll see, you know, the connection building. This is a, you know, a long-term thing. We're going for a long-term uh, yes, thing yes. here. It's not an overnight. Something's going to happen. You know, great relationships, great attachments are not built overnight. It takes time. So if parents use these techniques and don't see the reaction they're expecting from their kids right away, keep with it. And eventually you'll see yeah. you know, this, this bond, you know, yeah. getting stronger and stronger. Right. And I, I would say just use one here and there, just pick right. one here and there during right. the day, you know, right. and then build up to two or build up to three and, and keep it really short. And actually right. the most unexpected responses are the best responses. Don't expect anything, right? The, you don't expect anything back, but just to involve it. And teenagers, you know, it's a very, very tricky age. So what I would say is, um, you know, I would use some of the playfulness diffuser stuff, like making up stories and putting on music mm -hmm. and dancing and doing of that stuff. And then as a way to get into right. asking to laugh for no reason, because it is a big right. ass laugh, right. laughing for no reason. Right. Or telling then, jokes. That's and, a good one too. Right. Telling yeah, jokes. Yeah. Telling yeah. jokes. Tell me a joke. Or, yeah. That, that's a, that's a good way. And the joy, the joy shock's a good one as well. Um, as a good way into, you know, fostering connection with, with, right. with it teenagers because young people teenagers teenagers it takes a lot of confidence to laugh without right. a, a reason to laugh whereas the right. ones they do that already oh, yeah. right they haven't yeah. forgotten that they're source they haven't forgotten exactly the they are exactly. as teenagers there's a wee bit of road to go right, right? because right. they're right. They've forgotten that, you know, they've forgotten right. the great laugh that they can have, right? Right. And I'm sure yeah. you must have talked about having great movies to watch together, like having oh, yeah. because because actually when we we Japanese doctors discovered that when we watch movies it releases you know, um not when we watch movies, but it's a great way to re um, to release melatonin, the sleep hormone by laughing. Mm. So laughing is a brilliant way uh, before, you know, to go to bed. So oh, watching a movie, that. Okay. yeah. So watching a movie with your teenager, yeah, um, a funny, great right. movie before you go to bed. It's not only going to help them sleep better and you sleep better, but it's going to be building up this this uh, fun thing that you do. You know, we let's get our funny movies. You know, your list of funny movies that we want to watch together. Yeah, that's a great idea. No, just a list of funny movies yeah. that you can go to because it's hard. Like you said, it's hard for parents to think about this on the spot sometimes. So if your list yeah. of go-to things, let's do this today, let's watch this yeah. one, or this is shorter, so we have more time to watch this. Yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. 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 And that, dude, yeah. I love I love parents and kids watching movies together because there's no pressure to do anything. You're just kind of occupying the same space and you can like laugh together, talk yes. about the movie, but it's a pressure-free 
way of spending yeah. time together. So like, I, I love that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. And it's like what you said at the beginning, you said it's like almost just like giving ourselves permission to have fun. Right. You know, I get life changing testimonials for pe from people I that I work I with. And it's people and it, it's just that whole gift of like when you see a lot of people watching have had traumatic um, mm -hmm. childhoods and it's that giving yourself permission to have fun, yeah. allowing yeah. yourself to have yeah. fun and allowing yourself to have it on a day daily basis you know the writer Bronna Weir who was a palliative care nurse she wrote a book called um, the top five regrets of the dying mm. and one of the top regrets that that people have one of the top five regrets guess Maria guess oh yeah. it's uh well one of the top five regrets not spending enough time with loved ones I bet that was one yeah uh yeah. maybe yeah not yeah maybe dwelling too much on the negative not laughing enough that will be my guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, it was not to have laughed more often. Yeah. And to have more silliness in life. Yeah. Yeah, because you, know, yeah, you really... Got... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's no. I mean, it, 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 it's, when you think of that, you think, well, how many days, if I look back on this week, how many yeah. of those moments yeah. this week was I in joy? Was I in playfulness? Was I in abundance? Because when we're in joy, we're in abundance. When we're in joy, we're away from victim to victim. When we're in joy, we're away from feeling empty to expansive. When we're mm -hmm. in joy, we're, we're away from being lonely to feeling right. super engaged, right? Right. And it's so important for us to cultivate more joy in our, in our more joy, playfulness and fun in our lives. And even if laughter therapy isn't your bag right. then find things find right. things with your wee ones to do that are fun for the both of you and right. make sure that they are part of your day-to-day -day lives it might be let's color in let's uh, paint a picture of the, the the your your worst teacher at school or you know what I mean do, you know just come up with these yeah. silly ideas make your own like we are our best you know, we know what we need and your your listeners will know what what they're right. you know they kids and they need more than anything. So just take that 15 minutes after watching this um thing. If you think, oh no, laughter's not for me. Take 15 minutes to write down the things that you know. Fill your cup, joy cup up and fill their joy cup right. up and right. see how to get them in during the day so that they're going to look back on their life and have these amazing, beautiful memories that are going to be Absolutely. treasured, you know? So, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so yeah. much, Sarah. That is all, this is all great stuff. I really appreciate Brilliant. you coming on here. Yeah, and it's you know, like you feel better and happier talking about all this stuff, right? So yeah. where I want to make sure I, I ask where can listeners find you yes, on your sure. website your contact info uh how yeah. to sign up for a free session if you're still doing the uh the free sessions yeah yeah so i would love i'd love to connect with you after this call very much um so you can my website is www.joyworks.co.uk joyworks with an s on the end dot co.uk www.joyworks.co.uk that's my website and you'll see that there's a free event every Friday 6pm GMT and this free event is about 40 minutes and a lot of uh, mums do bring their kids and um, it's using a lot of laughter and music and fun and games it, we've got a global community between 30 and 50 people that arrive every Friday and we've been doing them since last uh, February 2022 so it's a really there's a really beautiful lovely nurturing group there you know that way you think oh yeah. I'm not going to but there's a lovely beautiful nurturing group there already so your entrance into it won't be a, a big deal you know you come and just be supported in this beautiful lovely nurturing community and you can put your camera on when you feel like it come a few weeks and put your camera on whatever you feel so that's um that's one way is these three sessions on um on a friday night details are on the website um another way is to book a session with me uh, do one-to-one -one sessions and um, to increase your confidence and your joy and maybe if you're having um, issues with anxiety or depression it's a really beautiful way to connect one-to-one -one. if you would like to do it in a group way we have a joy works for self-compassion because we know when we are self-compassionate we it changes our biochemistry 
uh, you know, it really scientifically proven to choose uh, to change our biochemistry. And of course, laughter does that beautifully. But I have lots of other techniques that I use in the Joy Works for Self Compassion online course. And um, it's starting on April the April the 25th um, at 5.30 GMT. We've only got five places left on that course at the moment. But if it's something that you would like to do, um, get, you know, get in touch with me. And then lastly, I have, um, in fact, it's not lastly, I've got two other things. So we have the, the Laughter Yoga Leadership Online Coaching. And this is for people who are just so sold. Like the one that you were involved in. Right. A lady messaged me afterwards and said, how do I get to do what you do? That's awesome. <laughs> so, so this is an opportunity to get to do what I do. And it's an online training. So you'll have an international qualification from um, Laughter Yoga International. And yes. you will be, um, you know, cert certified to go and deliver laughter yoga sessions in your community, in your workplace, or in your home. Or you can, as many, many people do, just use it for their own personal development and their own their own growth, you know. Right. Um, so that starts on April the 15th, and we've got five places left for that. And they, these run regularly, right enough, these courses, but these are the ones that are coming up just right. now. And if you are in a workspace, then I deliver a lot of corporate events online um, for team building and stress management. So you can book me for a workplace intervention to um you know as part of your away day as part of your agm as part of your board development day as part of your you know we just had international day of happiness there that would be a great day to do it or it's national stress awareness right. week that I, that's oh national maybe it's not for you guys yeah right? but it's, yeah is it um but yeah, there's World Mental Health Day. There's right. all these days which are great opportunities to to book a Joy Works event. A Joy Works Fantastic. event. Yeah, yeah. Great. And I'll make sure to put all your contact info in the video description too, so everything will yeah. be easily accessible. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send send yeah. yeah, I'll second send you that. Yeah, lovely. I, I yeah. would love to hear. I can't wait to jump yeah. on the channel and hear how everybody has found the session. Um, it's always lovely to begin a relationship here. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's been a joy to be part of the session. Maria, thanks so much. Thank you, Sharon. I really appreciate this. And listeners are going to find this really, really helpful. And I'm, yeah, I'm really excited to hear about how, how it's going to go for the parents. So thank you so yeah, much. I too. really appreciate you being here. Right. Awesome. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye, thank everyone. You, you too. Let, let's look for the good and we'll find it, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks Bye. so much. Bye-bye.